So the Tesla Model Y, other than the issue where the backup camera sometimes and most of the time does not work, unfortunately from yesterday, the entire autopilot does not work. Also the thing that shows when there's lines around you, I ended up going over here into the service and then resetting the camera calibration. That's gonna make me to drive about 160 kilometers for an autopilot to work. That's the only reason why that steering wheel icon is there. Before I resetted it, the cruise control would not work so if you push this once none of that will work pushing it down twice autopilot would not work the cars around you or the lane markings did not show the cones did not show if i go over to autopilot i did turn off and on all of these features none of the stop signs nothing is showing and we're constantly getting these error messages driving visualization temporarily degraded features may be restored on next drive so i'm gonna drive a little bit and see if autopilot will start working whenever this is all full but when we picked up the car as a brand new test this had to fill in before we could access autopilot but at that time we could still see the lane markings cruise control unavailable that's the messages we were getting yesterday before i even hit the reset for the camera calibration something else i want to mention i have even unplugged the usb drive for the dash cam as well as sentry mode sentry mode is off we were having issues where the sentry mode would turn off on its own so i even ended up buying one of these faster ssds even this did not fix that issue the autopilot stopped working after i got an email from tesla that they ordered three camera pack because of the backup cameras not working so i'm not sure if tesla might have disabled the autopilot on this car but we didn't get any message about that so i did ask them on the app but i do want to show you guys all the issues we're having and how tesla handles it because i love this car like no matter what this is one of the cars that you get in and you just love how it drives and things like that anyway let's turn on sentry mode as well so at least i have the dash cam working let's go for a drive and fill this and see if autopilot will work so we're driving here and none of the lane markings are showing there's cars on my side in front of me none of those informations are being provided Tesla's do not have the blind spot mirror indicators whenever you turn on your turn signal and there's someone in your blind spot it will show that car in red so there's a car in my blind spot and it is not showing me as you can see there's the car and even if I signal it is not showing anything red so it's getting me worried if the safety features such as front collision warning if any of that is working right now or not i know the parking sensors are working because it does tell me the how many centimeters i'm away from an object i have been driving for a while and this steering wheel still has not fully filled i was thinking it's a good idea to maybe go and then supercharge and maybe that might fix it but yeah, we have already driven 48.9 kilometers. Another thing I have noticed, I think it doesn't even show me the speed limits. So like there's the sign, it still does not show me the speed limit signs. There is a service appointment just for the backup camera and the side cameras. We did have to change the appointment a couple times because our schedule ended up changing. I guess all these issues would have been fixed by now if we didn't have to reschedule all the time. And then one problem I guess ended up coming from the other. Well, there is a Model Y. I wonder if they're having a similar issue. I think I'll ask the driver. Okay, let's go plug it in. Okay, it's charging. So 10 minutes to be 80%. Right now, we do get the speed limit and that other Model Y owner, I talked to him, his Tesla is running on version 10.2, 2021.4.18.10. Ours is 0.2 and theirs was also up to date. The autopilot here is still stuck, I guess, the same way. The supercharger might have fixed the problem. Right now, it says allow to calibrate instead of saying cruise control is not available. Also, I saw the lane markings and I think I even saw the stop sign. So let's just put the go prone ahead and then see how it is let's see if it sees the stop sign so it looks like it sees the stop line it's definitely showing the lines as you guys can see it even shows the speed limit so let's see if the steering wheel icon is all gonna fill up and allow us to use autopilot so we can also find out if we will see the cars that are next to us but so far it's seeing all the lanes just spread out the lanes and autopilot thing is now halfway filled it did not show that car wow interesting so it does not see that car did it see this one it did not let's wait until this is all full maybe that's when it will start seeing everything right now it shows me a car in front of me so maybe autopilot thing had to be full before 
he will see the cars that were passing me. Definitely sees it. Yep, and it knows it's an SUV. The limit's gonna be 100. Let's see if it knows it. Yep, it changed it. Okay, so let's turn on autopilot. Seriously, all I needed to do was go to a supercharger for this visualization and stuff to work. I am so confused. Um, let's see, is it doing the steering? Yes, it is. It sees this car on my right. Okay. I'm gonna signal. And there it is. It did show me that car in red. Okay, but well, we're gonna have Tesla to come over anyway in our house to fix the issue with the backup cameras and sentry mode because even while I was there supercharging, I got that message again that sentry mode is no longer uh, working. There's an error. Somehow everything is working. Autopilot did amazing and I'm just really confused. Pushing these uh, scroll wheels on the steering wheel, holding them down does not fix it. Like I tried doing that, it didn't work. Not sure if tomorrow it's gonna work or not uh, because just like the backup cameras, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. At least I was able to recalibrate the cameras because that thing was stuck there. After the supercharger, it was really quickly filling. That's how it was when we just bought this Model Y when it was brand new. You don't have autopilot as soon as you buy the car. You have to drive out of the lot. Later on, autopilot activates after a few kilometers of driving. So I already knew something's off whenever I was driving that long and it wasn't doing anything. It was stuck there. Let me know guys in the comments if you have ever experienced an issue like this where you try to use this. It says cruise control not available and after after the calibration if that was stuck like that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys